Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make whole wheat donuts. They are delicious and so easy to make. If you're on a diet, they are perfect for you. The preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be less than 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Remember, you will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now in a large bowl, we're going to sift all the dry ingredients. So we're going to start with the flour. For this recipe, I'm using a combination of whole wheat flour and oatmeal flour. I'm using half a cup of each, and I make my oatmeal flour by placing some of fashion nuts into the blender, and then I just blend them for about three or four minutes or until they turn into a powder, and that's how I make my oatmeal flour. But if you want, you can buy your uh, oatmeal flour at the grocery store. Into the flour, we'll also sift in the salt, the nutmeg, the baking powder, and the sugar. Now stir everything together until well combined. And now we're going to add in the coconut oil. If you want, you can replace the coconut oil with butter or vegetable shortening. But we're trying to make this recipe as healthy as possible, so the coconut oil is our best option. It has great flavor and is all good fat. It is kind of pricey, but it's great for baking and cooking any kind of dish. So if you're watching what you eat, coconut oil is a must-have in your kitchen, I really recommend it. So we're going to combine the dry ingredients with the coconut oil until we get a little bit of texture in there. You're looking for a texture similar to breadcrumbs. After that, add in the yogurt and continue to combine until everything is well incorporated. You're still trying to achieve a breadcrumb kind of texture. Once that is done, set this aside for a minute. Now we're going to whisk the egg with the milk and the vanilla extract. I'm using a quarter of a cup plus one tablespoon of milk, one large egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're going to whisk this together until the egg is well beaten. Then we're going to pour this mixture over the dry ingredients. And stir until just combine. Do not overmix, you're just trying to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients without overmixing. You will end up with a very rich and thick butter, that's the way it should be, that is perfect. But if you feel that your butter is extremely thick, feel free to add one more tablespoon of milk. Once the butter is ready, now we're going to pour it into the pan. I spray the pan with cooking spray. And I'm going to place the butter into a plastic bag, or you can use a piping bag if you want, or just spoon the butter into the pan. I'm going to fill the pan almost all the way to the top, about three quarters of the way. Now check the pan a little bit, just to make sure the butter is resting at the bottom of the pan. And now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes until the donuts are light brown and they are completely cooked. To check if the donuts are cooked, just insert a toothpick in one of the donuts and it should come out with a little bit of breadcrumbs. And once they are done, just let them cool completely before glazing them. To glaze them, I'm just using melted dark chocolate because dark chocolate is richer, better and healthier than regular milk chocolate. But go ahead and you can use whatever kind of chocolate that you prefer. A little bit of chocolate never kills anyone. So use whatever kind of chocolate that you like. And I just melted the chocolate in the microwave and I'm just going to dip the donut in it. Then tap it a little bit to remove the excess chocolate and then place the donut back in a cooling rack just so the chocolate will settle and that's about it. If you want you can sprinkle them with colored sprinkles or shredded coconut and that's about it. The donuts are done. They look amazing. They are delicious and they are way healthier than regular donuts. If you want you can skip the melted chocolate and the sprinkles and they will still be delicious so I really recommend this to you. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!